I designed the landscape project for planet Earth. He was so genius. He designed it in such a way he would never have to show up to work. My name is Paul Galchi and, and I was raised as a gardener. My parents grew all of our food in Los Angeles as I grew up and I remember as a five-year-old kid, my dad on Saturday morning waking us up and saying, well, we gotta head off into the, um, you know, to the horse stables and get some horse manure today. So we went down to a rental yard and got a trailer and went to the horse stables and loaded up manure and came home and spread it out in the garden and spaded it in. And as kids, we wore shovels out, spading in heavy clay ground, you know, mixing soil and, and having a garden. It was wonderful growing up because as every any time we were hungry, we could go outside and pick fresh vegetables and fruit all the time. And just a, down in California, there's nothing you couldn't grow. So it was just, we had it all year long. So it was really great. And so as I started to, you know, grow up and I got married and I had some children and I decided, you know, Los Angeles is no longer a place fit for human habitation as far as I was concerned. It was getting really crowded and, and smoggy and just not safe. And so I thought, thought I want to go move to a place where I can continue to do this and grow fr fresh food for my family, have clean water, clean air. So we came up here th to the um, Olympic Peninsula of Washington. We have a beautiful place. But we built a house and we faced a real challenge. We um, drilled a well at 213 feet and got half a gallon a minute. And if you're doing the math and thinking about that, that's not enough water to do a garden. I'll never forget as long as I live. It was August 1979. You know, it was a great year to build a house. It didn't rain all summer. But boy, in August, all this grass was totally dead. The road coming in was all dust. And I'm looking at that and saying, God, how am I going to grow fruits without water? And it was so incredible. I hear inside, he says, well, you're looking at the wrong thing. Turn around and look at your trees. And I pushed enough out when I built the house that I knew they had shallow roots. And I says, you know, God, you really have my attention. If you can show me how you do these without irrigation, I can do an orchard. So I went out to the woods of the fork and I started moving this material underneath the trees and I was totally amazed. This beautiful, soft, black, damp, incredible compost. When I saw that, I says, well, I can do this. This, this makes sense. So I started planting the trees out there and, and at that time I had, you know, straw and sheep manure. Now I'm using wood chips. And it's been amazing. This orchard's been here 31 years now. It's never been watered or fertilized once. It goes through droughts or whatever, and it's just every year it gets better. As I was doing this orchard, experiencing these incredible results, because I was a creature of habit, and because our nature is to do things as we're taught, and not to inquire from God, I says, okay, God, thanks for the help, but I can handle this on my own. And so for, I think, probably 17 years, I was out here diligently rototilling, hauling in organic material, you can see a place over here, my major rock pile, this is my altar. This is where all the rocks that came out of my garden over here. And I'm just doing this stuff and I'm feeling, out, I'm on, on this treadmill, just running in place, going nowhere, feeling like, oh, I'm going to keep up with this. You know, every spring, the ground is totally muddy and wet. When I tilled it, it turned to weeds in five to seven days, solid green with weeds. I planted plant things three feet apart so I can rototill with it, you know, do the weeding with the tiller. And it was just labor intensive. And one day I got out my orchard, I don't know what motivated me, but I got on my knees and I started moving these wood chips. And I'm down to my elbow in this beautiful black compost. And I got up and started screaming, I was so angry. I said, there's something wrong with this picture. I have been killing myself to get this in my garden. I don't have it. I didn't do anything here. And I hear inside, well, it works in your garden the same way, you didn't ask. I was so angry, I threw that pillar away and I started covering my garden with, with wood chips. I always say people the greatest gift God ever gave me was, was that lousy well because it opened me up to Him and to show me His incredible you know, work in creation. I've been a gardener for 55 years. I've done tilling, done all that stuff. And it's so amazing now. My only tool is a rake. And it's just so easy and so simple. And the production is so superior to what I ever had. <laughs>